It's game 20 of the Cape Cod Baseball League season, and the Falmouth Commodores welcome in the Orleans Firebirds. That's MJ Newsom. I'm Braden Shank. He's Aiden Blank here to open the door. MJ, a tough night last night for Falmouth, a road loss. How do the Commodores turn the page from that? Well, Braden, the good news is in this seven-game stretch in seven days, you've won all three of your games at home. When you face an Orleans team tonight that you faced at home the last time, you beat them in six innings because of fog, but it was a 7-1 victory. The only time you lost to them was on the road by a score of 1-0, just three hits to two. So if you're at Commodores, you're feeling better about yourself than you did the first game, especially beating them the last time. You feel good about playing at home. And Aiden Jackson will the leadoff man for the Commodores. He definitely has a knack for getting on base. Yeah, he certainly does. Even when he's not hitting, he's walking right up at the top of the team and walks. Man, he is uh, he's just an on-base machine, and it's something the Commodores have needed, especially at home. When they get runners on base here at the Gov, they don't usually leave them out there. And MJ, kind of a pitching by committee, the uh, style the Commodore's been going with. Fergie getting the start tonight, Francis Ferguson, that puts, that puts a smile on your face. Yeah, absolutely, Francis Ferguson, the only D3 guy on this squad. Of course, we did just activate a new Division Three guy. Talk to him more about him later. But Francis Ferguson has been so good out of the bullpen this entire summer. He hasn't started a game yet, but every time he's coming, he limits the hard contact, gets ground balls, not a very overpowering pitcher. We've also seen, like you said, pitching by committee, Gage Wood and Parker Coyle, two phenomenal starts the last couple of nights. Hopefully, Fergie can pick things up where they left off and get to an off day with a win. Well, Francis Ferguson will be pitching in his league-high eighth game tonight against the Firebirds. It's 6 o'clock first pitch from the Gov. It's Orleans and Falmouth. 